Hello, so this is some of my son's Lego and I'm hopefully going to try and use it to explain to you a little bit about how the Bohr effect works. So this here is representing the inside of a capillary, so this is the capillary wall. This is a red blood cell. And so in an exercising tissue, there's a high rate of metabolism and one of the byproducts of metabolism is carbon dioxide. So there's a, a large amount of carbon dioxide represented by these little green blocks here produced by the tissue. Now, carbon dioxide doesn't dissolve well in the blood um, and so to make it more soluble it has to be converted and it's converted inside the cell with water. Okay, So carbon dioxide exits the, uh, the tissue and it's taken up by the red blood cell and to convert it there's an enzyme let's pop the enzyme in and it's called carbonic anhydrase okay and once it's converted it can be converted back so it's a it's a, it's a kind of a reversible process so let's stick some arrows in to represent the fact that we can reverse it. So let's pop an arrow pointing that way and we'll pop an arrow pointing that way. So a reversible process. So carbon dioxide plus water is converted by carbonic anhydrase into carbonic acid. All right. Now carbonic acid is a very weak acid um, and so it dissociates into its separate components very, very easily. So it quickly dissociates into a bicarbonate and a hydrogen molecule. Okay? Are you with me so far on that one? Right. So, as you can see, this is the process with one carbon dioxide molecule. Molecule. So as the concentration of hydrogen, which is this little one here, as the concentration of hydrogen inside the blood increases, the pH decreases, so it becomes more acidic. Now what this does is it affects haemoglobin's ability to bind to oxygen. Okay, So at the moment we've got a little haemoglobin molecule with some oxygen attached to it. Now the more acidic, so the more hydrogen there is, it affects the affinity for haemoglobin for oxygen. So it has less affinity for oxygen. And what happens is the oxygen comes away. Let's see if I can get that off. There we go. And then because the oxygen can be released, it can then be released to go into the tissues where it's needed. Whoops, come back. There we go. So the oxygen can be released much easier and, and allowed into the tissues where it can be used. And that's known as the Bohr effect.